I want to go ahead and look at the modify sketch tool. So let's say that we're creating a sketch in SolidWorks and what we want to do is we want to take this sketch that we've already created and we want to copy a sketch to a different sketch plane. Well, there's several different ways that you can copy sketches in SolidWorks, but in this case, I'm just going to select the sketch from my feature tree, hit control C to copy. I'm going to select the plane that I want to copy it to. So in this case, maybe I'll just go ahead and select the right plane, and then I will go ahead and paste it with control V. And you can see that it was easily able to copy that over. Now, that's easy enough, but what if I need to manipulate that sketch further once it's been added to this new sketch plane? Well, for that, I can actually go in and edit the sketch, and then in my search bar, I'm just going to go ahead and type in the word modify to bring up the modify sketch tool. This modify sketch tool has a lot of really cool options. It'll let you uh, scale the sketch either around the sketch origin or around an origin that you specify. So if you need to make things a little bit larger, pretty easy. You can also translate it or rotate it, but there's kind of a little, I guess, hidden entity in here that you have to look for or know that it exists in order to be able to use it. So if you look out in the graphics area, you're going to see this little L shape here, and this is more or less an XY coordinate system. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that to a specific point, like let's say down here on my actual sketch or origin, and I'm going to drop it in. Now, that little triad, or, or that uh, XY coordinate system, rather, you'll see that it has three points on it. And if you look really closely, you'll see that my mouse cursor changes a little bit as I move over those different points. And that's because each point serves a different function. If I move to this bottom right point, and I right click on that point, you'll see that it actually mirrors or flips that sketch across that point. So basically across my vertical axis. Likewise, if I go up to the top point in that little XY coordinate system and I right click on the point at the top, it will mirror it across the other way. So it's a really neat tool that allows you guys to kind of manipulate sketches um, in their entirety. I use this a lot whenever I copy a sketch to a new sketch plane. Um, this might be for doing something like a, a loft or a boundary where I've got several different sections that are going to vary slightly. Um, that tool is great for being able to mirror and rotate, and flip and scale and do all sorts of neat things to hopefully save quite a bit of time as you manipulate that sketch profile.